Bevis can't be happy about what you've been doing. You got Carl's attention. He's back at the Sweetwater Distillery. Any idea how he'll react when I go in there? He's bug shit crazy swamp people. How do you think he'll react? Still, might be worth keeping him around. No one knows the bayou like he does. Oh, you one for this, Nikki? Damn right you do. Bevis is waiting for you. Real interested to see how you handle him. Boy, heel. Bevers cutting our pay don't work for me. He's out tens of thousands of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how you work. <laughs> Probably not. Hey, wait a second. Is that a gun? Probably not. Gun in that guard's hand? Get me happening. 
This ain't right. Ask. Fuck you and fuck Bark. You talk too much. Emptied out the distillery. It's primed and ready for your boys. Over still stand it. My boys are on the way. Everything's in place. The butcher's on his way. Time to put that rabbit dog down. I was in the third platoon company C of the 614 tank destroyer battalion during World War II. I trained as a medic, but I still carried a gun. Every man in our company was black. The army didn't know what to do with us other than they didn't want us fighting with the white men. Limbaugh. Klimbach was that little French town up there near the border with Germany, and we were ordered to take it. Now, the crowds took out three of the four anti-tank guns we had, but there was no way in hell we were letting them get the better of us. We were determined to show we was just as good, if not better, than every other soldier in the service. I, I don't like talking about the medals I got over there. Only way a man survives something like that is through the grace of God. Doesn't seem right celebrating a little piece of tin. No one knows I help Lincoln except for you and John Donovan. Not that I'm keeping it a secret, mind you. Just that nobody ever came around and asked about it. 